Hello friends, welcome to PharmaRox. In this video, we will make the solution of GPET 2018 paper. In this part 2 video, we will make the solution of question number 16 to 13. So let's begin the solution. So here is the question number 16. Question number 16 is rheumatic heart disease is caused by rheumatic heart disease is caused by here are the options option a streptococcal infection option b excessive lipid consumption option c abnormal lipid metabolism and the option d atherosclerosis so correct answer is the option a streptococcal infection so rheumatic heart disease is caused by mainly streptococcal infection question number 16 the enzyme hmg coenzyme a reductase is involved in the pathogenesis of option a atherosclerosis option b renal failure option c alzheimer's disease and the option d is parkinson's disease so here is the correct answer and the correct answer is the uh, a atherosclerosis so the enzyme co hmg coenzyme reductase involves in the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis question number 18 hemophilia a is a disease characterized by a deficiency of option a factor 8 factor 2 factor 7 and the factor v so these are the blood clotting factor and the deficiency of hemophilia a is due to the factor number 8 so correct answer is the option a factor 8 hemophilia a is a disease characterized by a deficiency of factor 8 Question number 19. Abeta shaft, a fusion protein, and a co stimulation blocker used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis blocks option A activation of T cell, option B inhibition of the T cell, option C activation of beta cell, and the option D inhibition of the beta cells. So correct answer is the activation of T cells. So a beta shaft, a fusion protein and a co-stimulation blocker used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and it blocks the activation of T cells. So correct answer is option A. Question number 20. The management of type B adverse drug reaction is option a to reduce the dose option b to withhold the dose and avoid in future option c increase the dose and the option d reintroduce and withdraw slowly so correct answer is the option b to withhold and the dose and avoid in future so option b is the right answer the management of type b adverse drug reaction is to withhold the dose and avoid in the future question number 21 which of the following antipsychotic drug at the low dose is combined with antidepressant in the treatment of resistant depression so here are the options option a chlorpromazine option b haloperidol option c risperidon and the option d is Clopenazine. So, correct answer is option C. Risperidon. Question number 22. To obtain a more effective bronchodilation, the drugs that are combined along with beta adrenoceptor agonists are Option A. Cholinergic antagonist. Option B. Cholinergic agonist. Option C beta adrenoceptor antagonist and the option D alpha adrenoceptor antagonist. So correct answer is the A 
cholinergic antagonists so the cholinergic antagonists are obtain a more effective bronchodilation the drug that are combined along with the beta adrenoceptor agonist are the cholinergic antagonist question number 23 the number of subjects required in a phase 1 clinical trial is option a 20 to 100 option b up to several hundreds option c 300 to 3000 and the option d is several thousands so the answer is option a 20 to 100 सो दो क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स के जो फेजेज़ है वो टाइप के क्वेश्चंस भी जी के एग्जाम्स के अंदर पूछे जाते हैं सो दिस इज़ आल्सो द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक टू स्टडी फॉर द जी एग्ज़ाम क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट पेयर फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन ए सिंपेथेटिक स्टिमुलेशन ब्रोंको कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑप्शन बी पैरासिम्पेथेटिक स्टिमुलेशन secretion of gastric juice option c sympathetic stimulation contraction of the pupil and the option d parasympathetic stimulation and dilation of the pupil so we have to find out the correct frame from this and the correct answer is the b parasympathetic stimulation it is the secretion of gastric juice so when the parasympathetic stimulations are occurs secretion of the gastric juices occurs and this is the correct pair so the answer is b so from the pharmacology and the general pharmacology the questions are asked from the parasympathetic and sympathetic systems question number 25 identify the hormones that stimulates sperm production in testes and ovulations in the female so here are the options option a prolactin option b luteinizing hormone option c follicle stimulating hormone and the option d adrenocorticotropic hormone so here is the correct answer is the a it is a prolactin Prolactin is the hormone that stimulates the sperm productions in a testes and ovulations in a female. So the right answer is the option A, prolactin. Let's go for the next question. The question number twenty-six. Identify the specific site where maturation of the sperms take place. So the option is spermatic cord. option b epididymis option c testes and the option d vas deferens so correct answer is the option b epididymis so the we have checked that the questions from the reproductive system is also asked in the gpet exam so this is the anatomy is also important subjects to study for the gpet examinations so here is the question number 27 which of the which part of the eye is light sensitive or it is a photo sensitive question is same is from the anatomy and the options are option a iris option b is sclera option c lens and the option d is the retina so the correct answer is option d retina so the eyes portions it is a retina which is a light sensitive or the photo sensitive it is just the light in our eyeball so the questions from the anatomy are also asked in the gpet examination so the anatomy of the various organs and physiology is also the important for the gpet exam question number 28 identify the clotting factors which is known as stuart factor or thrombokinase so this is same again the question is from the anatomy so the option a clotting factor for 
ऑप्शन बी क्लोटिंग फैक्टर एट ऑप्शन सी द क्लोटिंग फैक्टर नंबर टेन एंड द ऑप्शन डी क्लोटिंग फैक्टर ट्वेल्व सो दिस अगेन द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द एनाटोमी सो द स्टूडेंट्स यू हु आर इन ए सेमिस्टर वन टू मस्ट मेक योर एनाटोमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज फॉर द जीपेड एग्जाम्स मेनली द क्वेश्चन क्रम फ्रॉम द बेजिक्स एंड इट इज नेसेसरी टू इम्प्रूव योर बेजिक so here is the correct answer is for this question is the c it is a clotting factor number 10 it is a stuart factor or it is also called a thrombokinase we will shortly make some videos on this clotting factors so you can easily make the remember of this factors question number 29 alkana Tinctoria boraginaceae roots are used in. So this is the question from the pharmacognosy, and the answer, uh, the options are option A, dandruff; option B, toothpaste; option C, facial cleaning wash; and the option D is lipstick formulation and the hair dyes. The biological source of the root is Alcana. Tectoria and the family is Boraginaceae. So correct answer is the C. Lipstick formulation and the hair dyes. So it is a mainly uh, colorant, mainly used in the lipstick formulation and the hair dyes. Option question number thirteen. Ancaria gambier belongs to family. ऑप्शन ए रूबियासी ऑप्शन बी इज द कॉम्ब्रिटासी ऑप्शन सी पुनिकासी एंड द ऑप्शन डी रोजासी सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द ऑप्शन ए रूबियासे सो द फ्रॉम द फार्माकोग्नोसी द बी एस सी सी यूज केमिकल कंस्टिट्यूंट्स एंड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द ड्रग इज द इम्पोर्टेंट सो मस्ट डू दैट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द फार्माकोग्नोसी subject so this is the same, uh, simple questions which was asked from the pharmacognosy subjects they have asked directly the family of the drug but you must have to remember about the bcc use and the family so this is the part 2 video in the next video we will solve the question number 31 to 45 so if you like our content and the, this videos must like this video and share with your friends so they can also make the benefit of this kind of educational videos and must subscribe this channel for such more educational videos related to our pharmacy professions all the best friend and good luck for your exam preparations